Hello guys, welcome back to the channel Get It Quickly. As a part of ongoing series on Notepad++, increase your productivity. Today we are going to talk about timestamp in Notepad++. So this is going to be our menu for today's video. The first question we have is what is timestamp? As name implies, timestamp it means like whenever we need a current time in our file or anywhere, we just stamp the time and that is called the timestamp. Okay? But the question is like, what is the significance of inserting timestamp in Notepad++? It is very easy to insert a timestamp in Notepad++. And the significance of that thing is basically a lot of times you have projects and you have a different files and you just need to have like some kind of history. And uh, wherever you are making changes in the file, you can just put the timestamp in changes as a comment, right? And then later on, you will know like what changes you have done before and at what time period you had made that changes okay so that is the significance of timestamp and it is very easy to put the timestamp in notepad plus plus now we are going to see how we can insert the timestamp in notepad plus plus so let's go back where we left in previous video and what we can do is like close all of the files here and we can just create another file we can go in our qdir where we can just create another file probably in project one and i'm just going to create a file and it's called timestamp demo right timestamp demo right and i'm going to open this file here and then this is like our new text file called timestamp underscore demo and the easiest way to insert the time is basically you just click here on add it right and then you just go here in insert and then we do have like three options date time short date time long and date time customized i'm going to show you all three of them so that you will know like what are the differences in three of them right so the first thing we're going to try is date time short and there you can just see like this is the current time that i'm recording this video 12 34 a.m and today's date is 5 7 2024 which means like may 7th right i'm gonna insert like another one which is the date time long and now it does give you more detailed view of your current timestamp which is 12 35 a.m tuesday that's today's day and may 7th 2024 all right and then the third option is like not much of the detail but it does look like the same kind of thing which is more like customized thing but it's, it's still the same as just like the date is before the time so 2024 0507 and then this is your time 0035 29 well these two guys they really look good and the significance is like a lot of times you have like code changes so what you can do is like you can just insert the timestamp in a comment and then you can just save your changes and then later on you will know like at what time period and what date and what exact timestamp you had the changes or somebody else had the changes if somebody had put the timestamp before so that's it for this video i will see you in the next video with new content all right keep watching and please subscribe my channel i do have like a lot of videos here thank you thank you so much